Hi Internet. I had some HDMI problems with my Sony CT150 receiver slash subwoofer with soundbar. So I was troubleshooting it and I'd like to give some disassembly and troubleshooting tips in case anyone else is curious. I did find a repair manual online so you can look at that and use the hidden test mode to help diagnose this. If you want to disassemble it, there's a few things to do. You need to remove these four screws over the fan cover on the back. This is the top side. This is the back of the subwoofer receiver. You need to undo the four screws on the inside of the port cover. And you need to undo the screws that remove this back holding plate from the bottom back of the subwoofer. When you remove those, you also need to remove this plug that connects the actual subwoofer driver to the big controlling box. And when you remove the fan cover, under it is this. And you'll want to remove the ribbon cable right here that connects to the front panel. When you do that, the entire controller box should slide out the bottom back. Or bottom, bottom back, whatever. Then you'll want to get in, assuming you want to get to the circuit boards. Oh dear, I turned this. Well, there. Then I'll assume you want to get at most of the controller circuit boards, not the power supply. So you'll undo the screws around the edges, as well as one at the top, two at the bottom. You probably want to undo the two connecting the two plates on the back. Then they'll come apart. Don't pull too far since there's a lot of cables connecting them. So you'll have the fan cover, which is connected by its own cable that I haven't bothered to disconnect, and the output cover, which has a whole bunch of connections. You'll probably want to undo to pull it out. You'll undo one ribbon cable from the top board that handles audio. You want to undo a lot more cables from the HDMI board that normally goes right here. You've got two ribbon cables to yank. You've also got some audio cables to yank right here with a little clip to pull up and this connector which you just have to pull directly off. The cables are held together with this, these cable management wires that you just kind of bend out of the way and then you have the connections daughter board panel come off. You can undo some more screws to remove each of the panels. Here's the HDMI panel. This is what is probably causing issues for me because the other connections work fine, but HDMI connections will have some snow artifacts or the audio re will reset every few seconds, etc. The interesting thing is all the video doesn't ever leave this board from the looks of it. You have down here a chip that transmits out to the TV and also takes the TV's audio return channel. This chip just does a lot of the work connecting everything and passing the video on. You've got a what I assume to be a flash storage chip and that's most of the, the stuff. Interestingly Sony has given very helpful labels explaining what each of these ribbon cables do. There's this unlabeled port between the HDMI which I assume is being used according to this to control a processor on the main board or control this HDMI receiver switch. I'm surprised there's flash storage on here because I assume this would have to be connected out to the main, um, again, the main board, unless uh, there's enough smarts inside the HDMI receiver switch. Unfortunately, I can't find many places selling this except in Germany and Brazil, so it will be difficult to find a replacement. The other problem is that there's nothing obviously damaged on here. But it is good to find out that there is one part to replace if you can find the spare that doesn't cost $100 from this one US seller. And if you want to see, here is the main board. Pretty usual receiver stuff as far as I can guess. And the other daughter boards are pretty plain and dumb. Nothing really worth looking at.
and the soundbar itself is obviously quite passive because, well, you can obviously see the speaker connectors are just positive and neutral. So, there's some basic troubleshooting tips and disassembly guide. Obviously, the rest of the fixing is up to you, but at least this I hope this can help you get inside and take a quick look at the components.